Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavin Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we will learn about background and feature file in Cucumber BDD framework. So the background uh, section is optional, but it is used to define a set of steps that are common to all scenarios within the feature file. These steps are executed before each scenario in the file. This is useful when you have series of steps that are required to be performed as a precondition for multiple scenarios. All right. So for example, if you are testing a web application that and and uh, every scenario requires the users to be logged in, you can define the login step in the background section. So you don't have to repeat them in every scenario. I hope I mean you understood the scenario. So this is my application. Uh, let me just log out and uh, show you what are those scenarios, two scenarios which we can cover with the background. Okay, so suppose you are going to you know automate those two scenarios, which on the, those two scenarios requires a login to this application uh, again and again. Okay, so in the first scenario, you're going to verify this menu items. Okay, all items about logout and uh, reset app state, and you have to just log out after this, and you have to log in again, and you have to verify if user is able to add some product to the cart or not. Okay, so if I add, I should be able to see that item getting added to this cart until I uh, and I should be able to remove. Okay, so these are two scenarios which require login to the application again and again. Okay, so that steps or those uh, series of steps can be kept in the background section in the feature file. Let's go back to the Eclipse and see how it can be done. Okay, so let me just write a feature file for you. So inside SRC test resource, we can create a new folder and keep our feature file related to the background. Okay. So for the demonstration, I, I will just create a folder with a name called background and I'll create a file called background demo dot feature. Okay. So I'll just remove the content of this file and just write feature. This is background demo. Okay, so I've given the description of this uh, feature file. Okay, I've given the description for this feature, feature file. So this is background demo, and then we can write scenario user scenario one will be like okay, test menu items. Okay, so in that scenario, I have some condition like user is user access the source demo application login page. Okay, when user enters Valid credentials then user should be able to when user enter the valid credentials and click on breadcrumb crumb icon then user should be navigated to user should be navigated to or user should be able to user should be able to see the menu item or list okay items so this is my first scenario and let me write the scenario 2 scenario 2 is verify so this is my First scenario, test menu items. Here I can write verify add to cart functionality. 
okay wherein i can write user access the source demo app okay i can write something like this i can copy paste and i can write when user you know enters the valid credentials and clicks on add to cart button isn't it button then he should be able to then he should see uh, item should item item should be added to added to the cart okay let me just run this run as so you are executing you are running this background dot feature fine okay just run it and uh, then when you have some some issue is there with the background dot feature background okay you have to change that okay it is not the one so background demo resource background so this is the one and then apply then run it okay in order to get past that error so it will run that feature file and it will tell you like what all uh, is this what all missing steps are there okay so these are the missing steps you can you you need to add these uh, snippet to the some java class file that will be called out as a step definition file okay so inside this i can create a step definition file for this i can can create a folder for the step definition definition background okay i can give a name background because one more file one more folder with the same name is exist in this project so i will name it as a background <coughs> so a step definition related to this um, feature file okay uh, will actually will be created inside this folder so background background step definitions okay dot java is created so inside this i can implement the missing steps okay i will just um, i'll hold control shift and o to import all those missing packages given when then okay and then users i can write when user enters valid credentials and and i can write here i can also import this and and click on breadcrumb clicks on add to button and okay i can write like this i can import then yeah and i can also remove these uh, these lines okay commented section just press control and d it will delete okay i am not going to implement these methods but uh, it is self explanatory right what we are supposed to do inside these methods i'll just uh, hold control d and delete these lines okay so far so good right so i will just save it and i'll run this feature file again <clears throat> so is this feature file has two scenarios so far verify add to cart functionality and uh, test menu items so you can see these two scenarios got executed successfully and inside uh, which we have eight steps 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 all together eight steps got passed you can see eight passed two scenarios passed okay now uh, you would have noticed that every time like this scenario is getting executed scenario 1 scenario 2 series of steps are getting steps are getting executed sequentially right now uh, i can see like this particular you know uh, till here everything is both i mean like uh, these steps are common right in those two scenarios so now i want to keep these two scenarios in in uh, other section okay so that other section is nothing but the background and when you are using background okay so just make sure you have only one background per feature file 
you got it right what i'm saying so you should like when you get the scenario you should uh, break down the feature file in such a way that each feature file should have one only one background so now here if i uh, give like user user is logged in logged in to source demo app okay so this is that background and when or given i can write inside this same gherkin syntax given okay let me just put this scenario cut and paste here otherwise it will create confusion later that also we can talk about okay we should know like why if it is if we are using background uh, i mean scenario i mean background after scenario then there might be some problem we can okay and it might the flow might not be uh, uh, as same as we are expecting so we have to use after feature file we can use background and inside which whatever common steps you are going to perform will be kept inside this given user is accessing accessing source demo app source demo login page okay when users enters valid username and password then user should be able to navigate navigate to home page okay and right after that okay so let me just implement these things as well okay i will run this and it will complain that uh, these are the missing steps okay so i'm going to add these missing step first to the definition file step definition file and then we will understand how the background works here okay i'm not interested in these two lines so control d just press control and d to delete okay control d to delete okay and we are good let me save and just run it now now what we can do we can run this and we can see the result see 14 steps are passed and you can see like e scenario is getting e scenario executing this background first okay till here user should be able to navigate to the home page given user access to the source application okay so these like in case of like background when the prerequisite is already covered the when the prerequisite is already covered in the background then there is no need of you know giving the prerequisite of the common stuff we can remove that from the scenario first very first line okay these two can be removed okay so when and then click on breadcrumb item icon should be able to navigate to the home page and i can remove this okay let's see if with the and it works or not otherwise we have to convert this and with when okay so let me just run it so this particular you know three steps are taken care in this background okay so the control should execute from the and okay and clicks on the bread uh, bread crumb icon and for the scenario to when it is when it is executing scenario 2 again the background will be called and it will execute three steps from the background and then if i am remo removing these two lines then it should be taken care from because this is the redundant one okay that is already added in the background so let me run it and see the result okay so you can see two scenarios two passed and uh, 10 steps okay 10 steps 1 2 3 3 steps from the background and 1 2 all together five steps again the when the scenario 2 is executed three scenario from the three step from the background and two scenario two steps from the scenario 2 okay so you can see when it is executing these two scenario test menu items it is executing three step from the background and two from the scenario 1 click on the bread crumb icon then you should be able to you know see the menu items and you can implement whatever logic you want to implement inside the step definition here okay 
because I have left it as is, but the implementation can be done accordingly. Okay, so we can put all those, you know, X path and everything. So you can watch out my other video in the same as data data for QA automation channel. And this is that uh, playlist for the Cucumber BDD framework. Okay, so you can watch out all those previ uh, previous videos related to that page factory, uh, page object model, how uh, uh, <clears throat> and what kind of you know, convention we have to follow while writing this feature file and uh, scenario outline and everything is explained over here in this uh, uh, these videos which are part of this playlist all right so <clears throat> so i think uh, that's it uh, from this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and uh, uh, learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends also share the feedback in comment section so i'll see you next video till then keep learning and thanks for watching